Oh. Hello, Morris family. So this is your customized tutorial on how to use your new Sonicare toothbrushes. So the first thing that you need to know about using a Sonicare toothbrush is that you do not scrub with the Sonicare. So this is your Sonicare. When you scrub your toothbrush on your teeth with your normal toothbrush, with your normal toothbrushes when you scrub, it's to get the plaque biofilm off of your teeth. With a Sonicare, because it's turned on, so that's just buzzing and vibrating around, that vibration of these toothbrush bristles touching your teeth replaces the scrubbing action. And if you have your Sonicare toothbrush turned on, and if you have it scrubbing, if you're actually scrubbing with the toothbrush, it is decreasing the contact time that those toothbrush bristles are touching your teeth. So, no scrubbing. That's the hardest part about using a Sonicare. Um, what's great about these toothbrushes is they have, they're gonna beep every 30 seconds. So when you go to start using it, you wanna divide your mouth up into four quadrants. So you have your upper right, lower right, upper left, lower left, and you want to use your toothbrush for 30 seconds in each quadrant. So I like to start in my upper right, then go to the upper left, and I kind of work counterclockwise. You can do, you can brush your teeth in any pattern that you want, but have a pattern that you are using when you're brushing your teeth. That way you're not just going all over the place and you wind up forgetting the hard to reach spots, which are right here back on the underside of these lower anterior teeth. So. I'm going to show you first on the Geniform how to use it. So you want to angle your toothbrush bristles. So if this is, oops. So if this is 90 degrees to the angle of your teeth, you want to come up with the toothbrush bristles at 45 degrees. I'll bring this really close. So you want to come in at an angle like that. And the goal of using your Sonicare is to not only keep the plaque, get the plaque off of your teeth above the gum line, it's to remove the plaque from your teeth below the gum line. So you're actually trying to get the, those little teeny tiny toothbrush bristles up underneath the gum tissue. I'm gonna show you in my mouth what it looks like. Bear with me. Let me get really close. Okay. So I'm not gonna turn it on because it's gonna make too much noise. But you wanna angle your toothbrush bristles up like this and try to get them to slide up underneath the gum tissue. And once you feel those little toothbrush bristles poke up underneath the gum tissue, it shouldn't hurt at all, but you should feel a little bit of stimulation. And then you're just gonna hold your toothbrush bristles there for three seconds. So I'm gonna do a little video. Uh, I start in the upper right area. It's turned on, it's about to be in my on, and I just hold it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm just walking it kind of from tooth to tooth. One, two, three. 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 And then that was the first buzz. So now that I'm going to flip back onto the tongue sides of my teeth. And so the idea is that you're just walking your toothbrush bristles from tooth to tooth to tooth to tooth. To tooth. If I'm doing a really thorough job of brushing my teeth with my Sonicare toothbrush, it usually turns off at that two minute marker before I finish brushing my teeth. So if you find that you're getting done brushing your teeth before that, that timer goes off, then you're probably going a little too fast. So I hope you guys love your presents. I love you guys. I'm sorry I'm not there with you right now, but I hope Sonicare has changed your life the way they've changed my life. Love you, bye bye.